everyone. This is Jeff Chen, founder at the Maxim, of Maxim Browser at the MB Domain. I'm thrilled to join CoinGate conference. The last CoinGate was fantastic, and I'm sure this time it will be even better. On last CoinGate conference, I share the idea of rebuild internet on BSV chain. Then we started to work. After eight months, the concept becomes clear. This time, I want to continue our journey and share more details to all of you. My topic is new browser and domain, build a better internet. Speaking about better internet, we must first define what is a better internet. Otherwise, we may spend a lot of time to build and end up going somewhere else. My understanding of a better internet has some key elements. The data is owned by users instead of big companies. All user data can have clear ownership. With the data owned by the users, the apps are competing with each other to offer the best services. It also means the users can seamlessly transfer from one service provider to another. With other great properties of Bitcoin, like immunity and traceability, ultimately we get an internet that encourages freedom and honesty. To build a better internet, we created NB Domain. It's a decentralized domain system, a global ID, and a blockchain data store. The fundamental difference between NB Domain and the traditional domain is this. The traditional domain is a subscription service. You have the service after paying for it, and you lose it if you stop paying which means you have to continually pay the domain. It's not owned by you. On the contrary, the NB domain is actually an asset. You got the domain after you're paying for it, and you own it until you sell it to others. NB domain is owned by you after your registration. From the technical point of view, the traditional domain usually resolves to an IP address. With MB domain, we have greatly extended its ability. The MB domain is designed to resolve to any blockchain content. For example, MB domain can resolve to an IP address it can also resolve to a simple sentence like hello world. It can even resolve to some codes like HTML code or JSON string. Another outstanding feature of MB domain is it can be used as a blockchain identity. Each MB domain is associated with a public key. The public key can be used to identify the owner without disclosing the privacy information. Once you own an NB domain, you own a unique identity stored on blockchain. Registering NB domain only requires a public key from the user, no email, no phone number, nothing related to user's privacy information. Just imagine if we use NB domain as an account to log into the application, we'll never need to worry about losing our account any longer. Now, I want to spend some time to talk about NB Domain Network. When I say NB Domain Network, it means NB Domain is not just a protocol or a product. It is designed to be an ecosystem consists of different parties. 
Here is a diagram. There are BS windows. We cross them as a whole. And there are users. And there are NB resolvers. NB resolvers are important nodes in NB domain system. Since the data on blockchain could be very complex, we need a way to resolve the data. NB resolver provides a service to resolve all domain information. There could be a lot of resolvers. They can be anywhere. For example, the resolver can sit in the same computer with the user, providing the fastest resolving service. It can also be a server in data center our server farms when the demands are very high. People may ask, how can I trust the resolver's output? Actually, you don't have to. MB resolver runs in trustless mode. The user of the app can always verify resolver's output. For example, there is a subdomain best.1020. Test and the, and the output of the resolver is like this. You may notice there is a property called TXID which identifies the transaction associated with this subdomain. The user of the app can always use this TXID to verify the information from blockchain. This design makes sure the resolver's output can always be verified. Since MB domain is a public protocol, the resolver can be built by anyone. And the open source implementation is also provided to save developers some time. Now, you may notice MB resolver is pretty much like Bitcoin node. Let's do our comparison. Both of them run in trustless mode which means people can always verify its output. And both of them run in permissionless mode, which means anyone can offer the service and compete with each other. The Bitcoin node provides minor service through minor API. The NB resolver provides blockchain related service through NB API. Lastly, Bitcoin node get profit while block reward, while NB resolver get profit while service fees. That's why I said NB, NB domain is our ecosystem, which need different parties to work together. Initially, some risk takers have jumped in to work with us. For, for wallets, the latest version of the dot wallet Vault Wallet and Maxim VBox will support registering NB domain, managing NB domain, and trusting, transferring funds using NB domain. We hope to offer NB domain service to more wallets. For resolvers, the permissionless nature makes an open option for anyone who is interested. We're glad to offer help for any interested party. The major next important party is the browsers. Maxim Browser will have native support for the, the MB domain, and we will extend MB domain to other major browsers as well. Speaking about browsers, I want to take some time to talk about another important part product in our ecosystem, Maxim Browser. Maxim 6 the world's first blockchain-powered power, browser. The main blockchain feature are provided by our component in Maxon 6. It's called VBox. VBox is a blockchain identity manager. People could create unlimited amount of blockchain identities, which is identified by crypto key pair, the public key, and the private key. The VBox is designed for users to easily manage their identities. Every identity can have one or several NB domains. 
Webox is also a wallet, but it uses Waypoint instead of BSV to make it easier for users to understand. In Webox, one Waypoint equals to 100 Satoshi. People can easily top up Waypoint using PayPal or WeChat. Webox also supports all major platforms through Maxim Browser, from desktop to mobile. Webox supposed, supports a new payment protocol. We call it Open Payment Protocol, short as OPP. OPP is designed for apps talking to the wallet. So the app developer does not have to recreate wallet features. Unlike other wallet services, OPP is designed to work with all wallets instead of some specified wallet API. So the wallet can compete with each other to provide the best service, and the user can switch wallet easily. We'll cover OPP in details sometime after the conference. Another feature of Maxon 6 is visiting decentralized websites. With Maxon and NB domain, anyone can easily create decentralized websites which are easy to access using NB domain. Unblockable because anyone can be the resolver and the site cost will be low because of the competition. Finally, it's highly secure because the data is protected by the Bitcoin system. Now, it's approaching the end of my presentation. I have two announcements to make. The first one, we launched the world first one character TLD, dot B. We have so much love in B. It's blockchain, it's Bitcoin, it's PSV. It's also built, big, bright. We hope dot B TLD will give the new internet a blessing. The second, the sunrise registration of .b domain begins right after my presentation. During the sunrise, our trademark owners have a chance to reserve their .b domain name to protect their trademarks. And at NB domain, we encourage build culture. We protect brand. We recognize our ownership. We also love competition, capitalism, and free market. The only thing we know is we still know nothing. So we'll keep learning and keep building. The future is bright. Let's build together. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Thank you, Jeff. It is always so inspiring to hear from you. So if you'll hold on for a few minutes, we have some time for questions. Uh, and I have a number of questions from our online audience for you. Um, the first question is, is NB Domain an alternative to the ICANN system, you know, the international governing body for internet domain names? Is this an alternative to their internet domain name system? Yes, yeah, alternative. It's uh, it, it's a completely rebuilt on blockchain system. It's not the same one with ICANN because that uh, centralized system has a lot of issues. Got it. Another question is, if the domains become non-expiring commodities, what controls would be envisioned to protect brands and entities from someone buying up all the high value domains and keeping them as a tradable asset? You obviously have your sunrise period, but are there other protections? Yeah, we'll have sunrise period. And after sunrise, if, uh, the, the brand owner can also come to us to register the domain. But uh, uh, after the registration, the domain will uh, belong to the owner who registered that domain. I believe there are also other ways to uh, 
claim they you know to protect their brand like uh, using legal system other you know the uh, society other uh, system to to claim that uh, uh, a set of the of the owners Another question from the audience is, what happens if a person buys a domain on NB Domain and dies, passes away? Does the domain go back to the market, or what happens to it? Well, NB Domain is designed that people can transfer the domain or sell the domain to others. I hope the people that uh, they will you know, make some early arrangement you know, before the, the but they dies, you know. I think that's a common for any asset in our society. Um, I want to ask you a question myself about your other big project, which is the Maxon 6 browser, uh, your first efforts at creating a Bitcoin SV connected and powered browser. Will you tell our audience how development is going and what you envision to be the next steps on your roadmap? Well, if the development goes well, we spent uh, almost six months to, uh, to, to let our team to learn you know, Bitcoin and uh, we incorporated Bitcoin features into the browser. Uh, we want to make the Maxim browser the foundation you know, of the next version of the internet and encourage other browsers to keep up with us, to incorporate uh, Bitcoin feature into their browser as well. So you know we'll uh, continue to build the browser based on uh, Bitcoin network, and we'll continue to roll out uh, cool features, including NB Domain, including other features as well, to uh, try to rebuild the internet on the blockchain system. Can you give us some examples of the types of features or? Uh, functions that a user will be able to do with your browser and how it connects to the Bitcoin SV blockchain? Oh, for example, people can, you know, since we have the Baybot, as I said, in, in the browser core, it's quite easy for anyone uh, of the browser users to pay, you know, uh, the, the Bitcoin to any website. That's a payment features and also the uh, NB domain uh, integration of the browser enables the user to create on-chain uh, website and people can visit those on-chain uh, websites from the Maxim browser. So that's uh, uh, some initial features that we'll have. And we'll continue to develop more features. And we have the Open SDK API for other developers to create um, you know, endless Bitcoin powered features on Maxim browser as well. Terrific. We look forward to seeing the further development. What you're working on is a perfect illustration of what I discussed yesterday, moving our world from everything online to where everything can be also on chain. So thank you for your efforts, Jeff, and we can't wait to see what you release and develop more in the future.